my friends. I'm here with Dom Blatt, Director of North American Surgical Sales for Rainer. It's uh, an extravaganza of knowledge here, and we're so glad to join them here in Buenos Aires. Dom, welcome to the program. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. We're here at the PAAO. Uh, this show hasn't happened for a number of years, but a lot of people are excited to be re-engaged with the market. What are you excited to be here for at the PAAO? It's just wonderful to be here. The last one in Cancun in five years ago now, and this has been rescheduled multiple times. I mean, it's exciting the number of doctors that we've had, seeing a lot of uh, familiar faces, but then making some great new relationships. Here we're learning about the Ray-1 trifocal. In terms of the optics, what do you think really, you know, if you have to name one thing, what differentiates it from competitors? It's to do with your diffractive optic. And then there's the Rayner pattern, and it's to do with what diffractive orders you use in order to create trifocality. Hmm. So our optic uses a combination of an asymmetric and a symmetrical wave profile. And by doing that, we are uniquely using a negative order in conjunction with positive orders. What that means is we're using the least chromatic energy splits, therefore retaining the most light possible and inducing the lowest possible dysphotopsias through this pattern design. So we're very excited about it. You know, I've been covering uh, presbyopia correcting IOLs for a number of years. They've really advanced over time, but what do you think it means for, for patient benefits ultimately? Well, frankly, as an industry where we are, the trifocals are the current gold standard for presbyopia correction. Um, none of the technologies are perfect, but if you want to offer a patient full range of vision and be truly spectacle free, the trifocals are absolutely the best thing. And as we continue to innovate and iteratively improve these technologies, visual disturbances and dysphotopsis will progressively reduce. You know, I'm very fortunate that the Ray-1 trifocal is you know, one of the best technologies on the market today, and we get incredibly high patient satisfactions. Well, if we boil it down to, you know, near, intermediate, distance, uh, what are the optimal ranges of vision for, for these lenses? A lot of that relates to the ad powers that you have. Our optic has a 1.75 intermediate ad and a 3.5 near ad, and so that translates into about 75 centimeters for your intermediate and about 37 and a half for near. Um, and we feel that that gives excellent um, quality and visual acuity for patients in their everyday lifestyles. Now, we are here in Latin America, so what should we know about the Ray-1 uh, across the region and, and how it might benefit patients here? We've always been fairly strong in the Latin American market. We've been represented here over 20 years. Ray-1 came onto market in 2017 in Latin America. Um, globally, it's been used in about three and a half million implants. So we firmly believe that the Ray-1, our fully preloaded injector, is probably market leading, a best in class in mm. terms of ease of use, micro incision surgery, and uh, reliability. I'm also curious as to more of the benefits of the preloaded system. I know that's key for the Ray-1 range. I'm sure a lot of the doctors watching this will know, you know, the benefits of preloaded is, is simplicity and reliability. What it means is we've got safer procedures, faster throughput of procedures because it's quicker to deliver them. And also, you know, it comes straight out of the factory. And again, no one else is touching it. So that's very important for patient outcomes. So I noticed with the preloaded injector, uh, it can fit through a 2.2 millimeter incision or less. And I suppose that helps with aberration free optics as well. Yeah, absolutely. So our Ray-1 injector has a nozzle tip of 1.65 millimeters. And so with a little bit of experience, because it always takes experience with a new device, you can do surgery with a 1.8 millimeter incision wound in, which is amazing. But we market it as a sub 2.2. Now, because of the patterns on our injector system, something that's called lock and roll, we fold the lens to less than half of the original dimensions. And as you're injecting it, it means that our lens has already been pre-folded to such an extent that as the lens is delivered through the injector, there's no wound stretch. And that's important because it means that you maintain incision architecture. We're not influencing or inducing more surgical astigmatism. And so absolutely, when you're trying to maintain the corneal structure, manage aberrations, manage astigmatism, Ray-1 is certainly a very good option for doctors and patients. 
I'm also curious about appropriate patient selection for the Ray-1 trifocal. I suppose uh, demographically, it is important to select uh, which patients would be optimal for this lens. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. When, as, as I've mentioned before, when you're using complicated optics, there's a period of neuroadaptation and we expect that. Some would say it's six months that a patient has got to get used to understanding these lenses. And you think about it, the Ray-1 trifocal has 16 rings. Each of those 16 rings is producing three focus points. And that means you've got 48 images for the brain to condense down into three. So we expect a period where the patient's brain has got to focus. And so doctors have got to be very clear of what the patient wants. Is the patient determined to achieve true spectacle independence? Is that patient a perfectionist? Is, do they have the mental desire and understanding of it's going to take time to do it? And so that profiling of patients is so important, whether that's through questionnaires or experience on the doctor's point, but it's an absolutely critical piece in the jigsaw with lens selection. That's just amazing. Well, um, I've, I've learned so much today, Dom. Uh, thank you for sharing your knowledge from the UK, North America, South America. We're, we're going everywhere and we really appreciate uh, Rainer supporting the world in this regard. Yeah, fantastic. Very happy to be here. Thank you. All right. All the best.